but a recent identity theft scam found in Northeast Missouri is causing concern for people's wallets. KHQA's Hayden Dahl said he is working for you to tell you what to watch out for and also what to do if your funds have been compromised. Hayden. People go to gas stations every day not thinking that they will have their identity stolen, but recently that has become a concern. The Canton, Missouri Police Department discovered a card skimmer at one of the pumps at a Casey's gas station in town. Canton Police Chief Teicher Blakely says that it is not only a concern here locally. It is um, becoming more common. You know, just a couple of years ago, that was like kind of a rarity, but now we're starting to see it all over, um, this, not only the state of Missouri, but just nationwide in reference to these, you know, card skimmings or even, you know, identity theft uh, incidences. In the recent months, the same type of card skimmer was found in Scotland County, Missouri. The department says with it becoming a concern locally, they will be regularly checking convenience stores. As soon as we found it, I definitely made sure to advise all other merchants in the area in reference to just be on the lookout for card skimmers or, or, or suspicious activity in reference to tampering with not only um, gas pumps, but also ATMs. So just to make sure that if there is something that doesn't seem right, to definitely report that as soon as possible. The department says that the offense for these crimes would fall under an identity theft charge, a Class B misdemeanor, and offenders could face up to five years in prison. Officials say to check your bank account to see if you have been scammed. If they see like an unfamiliar charge, if they believe that their card was in fact, you know, compromising to contact their financial institution, whether it be a credit card company or their bank company, and just advise them that, hey, I might be a victim of fraud, or I think that there's some fraudulent activity going on to my account. To avoid getting scammed, officials say to tap instead of swiping your card. And that's just because you, you put your, your card down and it just goes electronically as opposed to swiping your card, because that's how typically your information is stolen is by swiping the card. So um, that's, what we, that's what we try to encourage people to do.